Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation of a strange phenomenon at a site near Australia, Alangula. This was brought to my attention by my friend Andy. Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation. We're looking at a weird phenomenon that my friend Andy spotted at a site near the South Pole of Mars. This is in a region called Australia Alangula. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Before we start, just a huge shout out to Tyler over at Secure Team 10, who featured that strange tanker-like anomaly on his channel earlier today. And then many of you over at Secure Team 10 came over to my channel and subscribed. And for that, I thank you. Welcome on board. I'm delighted to have you here and I hope you like the work and research. So the high-rise photograph we're analyzing here is called the frosting spot over polygonal ground. This was acquired on the 27th of March 2009 at a nice high res of 24.6 centimeters per pixel. And as usual, I'm showing you images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. If ever you folks want to check out these JP2s, Download them and then go further down the page to high view and download the high view JP2 downloader. It's free. Then you can check out these anomalies for yourselves. So you have a look at a low res black and white of the terrain. So the site's located near the South Pole at roughly 84 degrees 55 minutes south, 96 degrees 1 minute east. And uh, up to the north is that site where I found that possible lake surrounded by vegetation. This terrain is remarkably flat. So finding this feature to me was very important because it gives us an indicator as to the direction of the sunlight and the shadows. So from this we can tell the sun's coming in from the top right, lighting up this right hand side. We've got the shadow of this object over here to the left. Yeah, it's lighting up the side of that feature. So these things we'll be looking at are definitely sticking out above the surface. These aren't like uh, canals. We've got a slight depression in the surface. These are actually almost like, you know, a root and it's growing on the ground. These things are on top of the surface. And uh, I'll show you instances where it looks like they are actually independent from the cracks or fractures, the polygonal ground. There's a crack going through there, for example. And these things look like they are following patterns and shapes that don't conform to the surface fractures or cracks. Yeah, we can see one as well. That's the typical crack or fracture in the surface. You can see these things follow their own independent track. It's very strange. Yeah, we're zooming in at twice the original size. And then there's also these weird spots where it looks like there's openings or holes in the surface. Check this out strange circular object there on the inside and that too you can see the fractures and these things are making their own patterns not following the lines so what could they be yeah we're looking at almost square depression in the surface and it looks like 
these things are spanning that gap or the opening. Check Yazul so you can see the cracks or fractures and these things are following their own random pattern. This must be some of the weirdest terrain on Mars that I've seen so far. Check there as well. Looks like a depression or hole in the surface. What's well, just a very dark material. But it doesn't look at all like the shapes and patterns in the surrounding terrain these things stick out and these two they look like mushrooms it's not bubbles what could this be? is it liquid water seeping up to the surface and then uh, freezing over but why are these patterns not following the fractures because you'd expect the liquid to actually seep through these cracks but these things are making their own shapes if I could call it that we had squiggly lines Yeah, too, it looks like a root on top of the raised area, like veins. It's very, very strange. There, too, we've got a rectangular dark spot. Now, whether those are holes or openings in the surface or just dark objects that are covered over with these roots I don't know truly beautiful anomaly very well, one of those typical spiders check it the cracks and the fractures in the surface and then there are these things are randomly spread out on the surface and they don't seem to be following these lines why that is I don't know we can speculate and say maybe these are independent of the cracks and fractures I don't even want to venture there. Some type of life form. Very, very weird. Check this out. Here we've got a crack. And this follows its own independent track. There too. Check here as well. The thin lines, in my opinion, are the fractures and cracks in the surface. But then these things on top are randomly spreading out over the surface. And now we're looking at two times actual size. All these upscales are done at uh, twice the actual size.
truly remarkable. And all these images will be available over at my blog. As some of you might know, for every video I do, there's a blog entry with all the images for you to go and check out whenever you get the chance. And all these will be available there soon as well. Check at this. There's another one of these cracks running through there. And this is just randomly going around like in these strange squiggly patterns. Mars is a truly beautiful, magnificent planet. Heading down to the South Pole, to that site. So it's about, let's see, we can measure it. It's like the edge of the pole, the ice. So that's about 230 kilometers to that site up there. Just have a brief look at those surface features again. Thanks Andy for pointing this photograph out. And then, uh, let's see, up about 380 kilometers from that site, we have this possible lake, and uh, vegetation. Check out that video if you get a chance, folks. There's also a very strange arrangement of objects over here to the side. as a space 25 meters apart. All of you that have joined from Secure Team 10, welcome on board. That concludes this presentation. Take care, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers for now.